What's up? My name is Predator Gaming. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing a live commentary actually on Black Ops 2 in 2024. You know, all that fun stuff. Got a topic I really want to kind of talk about. Before we get into it, I want to say like I'm, I'm very much liking this trend of, of going back to 2007, 2008, 9, 10, all that stuff. And kind of getting back to those kind of Call of Duty videos. I want to preface with, uh, they just got absolutely donkey slapped. I want to preface with, while I'm very much enjoying those type of videos, that's not the era I grew up in. T. Martin definitely is my favorite YouTuber of all time, but when I think about live commentaries, I often look back at like cut commentaries, your Sneekos, your, uh, like Eddie the Chump was one of my favorite pass. Oh, I was definitely around that corner. So when I look back on live commentaries, I look at cut commentaries and look back fondly on those really. So those are the type of com Ooh, live commentaries you'll get on this channel. So the topic I really want to get into today is like the theory and concept. I think about it often actually, and it is like your old self. I feel like everybody is very fond of this concept that they were uh, reminiscing back on themselves when they were younger and they look back at it with the fondness of I'm never gonna be able to get back to that point again in my life and that's true right because you can't go back in time but that's true because you can't go back in time right I think it's important to distinguish the difference that a lot of those traits are are still there right? like yes you may not be you may not be or you may not feel as driven right in in, in your life than you did when you were 19 right and that's probably true if you are the same person when you're 19 there's a myriad of other problems that you're having just to be fair but i think about it like this when i was i think it's a level of delusion right when i was 19 the thing i, I go back to often is basketball right so i played basketball my whole life my dad played basketball in high school and so me and my brother kind of grew up around in and around the sport and so it wasn't far-fetched for us to play it, but I grew up and it turns out I wasn't very good at it when I was a kid, you know? So I really, like I fell out of it and then really kind of got into it when I was 16 or so. Oh, good grenade. Really kind of got into it when I was 16 or so and moving forward in my life and played a bunch of it. But for some reason, when I was like 19, 20, I was looking at going to all these, you know, professional overseas combines and I was gonna go play power forward in some foreign country at 6'4 which all right yes 6'4 is very tall and I get that but when you're talking about like basketball height 6'4 to power forward is kind of reaching if anybody's played basketball before not saying it's uncommon and now with the way the NBA is they're small ball but it, like it's highly unlikely especially in overseas basketball and for somebody like me who really, really kind of got into the scene when I was 19 to not have any high school because I didn't really get into it until after I was 19. And then when I finally started playing, I couldn't go play a junior college. So I didn't have any college experience. I had no reason for a team to even look at me with any kind of intent of we could see this guy on our team. You know what I mean? And then the same thing goes with Call of Duty. For some reason, I thought that uh, I was going to play three years of amateur Call of Duty and somehow end up on Optic, which is obviously not going to happen. 23 and 6 isn't bad, though. So I thought I was going to end up on Optic. And I think the thing that we need to kind of identify with in common theme with this whole, whole video is that those things that I had that I wanted when I was younger probably were unrealistic, right? Those guys that play professional Call of Duty or professional basketball play their entire life. Um, and I, that wasn't something I did. So it was like a reach for me to get to wherever I thought I was going to go. But I think it's important to have that same kind of drive in your life because those traits don't go away. You just got to figure out how to use them for things that aren't passion based. Like when I was a kid, whatever I wanted when I was a kid, I'm 27. When I was younger, 2019, 2021, 20, whatever I wanted, if it was on the other side side of something, I was getting through or around or above or however I was getting through 
that object in the way. And this really kind of spawned because I was talking to somebody at work. I asked him for advice on how he kind of moved up so fast in our company. And he's like, well, I'm just doing it for my family. That's my why. And I feel like the why when I was younger was because I wanted something so, so terribly bad. So now it's just finding your why. Like all those traits are still there. But people often romanticize their younger self as being more motivated and more driven. We had to swap to bots because for some reason Black Ops 2 just decided it didn't want to work. But anyways, that's like that's not really the point of you were different when you were younger. You're still the same person. And I think like traits and those type of things are more genetic than people give them credit for. I am not a, a quick scoper. When I was I have like a handful of montages out, but I am definitely not one of those guys. So I personally think that you could get back to there however you want. You just kind of got to find your why along the way. I don't know. I feel like I might have rambled. I feel like I script commentaries better than I live com them. But that really does come with practice too. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, as always, drop a like. Um, I'll keep doing them, I guess. And let me know what you guys think for sure about... What I said, like, do you think, do you often find yourself romanticizing the younger version of yourself because you thought you accomplished more or you had more drive to accomplish those things? Because I, I did that for a long time and I still kind of do that occasionally. Um, but now it's different in the regards of, uh, I think I'm just waiting to find the right thing to dump into like that. And I haven't quite figured out, you know, what my, my why is to chase down everything in my path. Like I said, if there was something that I wanted, I would find a way to that thing. And now I, uh, I don't have that as much. Oh, they got me. I got a stealth chopper though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe. I'll be putting another video out here soon. Black Ops 6 is coming. I'm probably going to be doing a Road to Commander on that. So if you guys are interested in that type of video leave a subscription to the channel we're on the road to 400 we just passed 350 so thank you guys for that i'll see you guys next one peace out